Hey what's up guys, MGH here, welcome to another video. Today we're looking at the new PES 2020 Master League trailer. They've even said it's remastered. Now I'm super, super excited for this and I promised you guys right now, I swear on my marriage with Ellen, I have not seen this. Someone tweeted me saying, oh my god, have you seen it? I clicked open, started my recording software and boom, we're here. I have not seen this three minutes and I'm hoping we're going to see plenty of cool stuff and then we're going to rewind and go through some of the, the cool things that we see so um, you probably haven't seen this either I know a lot of you guys maybe are more FIFA fans but this year honestly super excited to play PES 2020 in just a few weeks as well it comes out on the 10th of September I'm hoping I can maybe get it a little early and start a Master League save here on my channel, so make sure you are subscribed for that. So, let's get into this. If, if I... Actually, you know, what I'll do is I'll play through the whole thing, and then I'll do some pausing, and we'll talk about things later. So let's go ahead and see what they have. Oh, my God. It looks incredible, doesn't it? The graphics are insane. Let me turn it down a little bit on my end. Oh, man, the Camp Nou. Oh, man, that looks good. I mean, it just looks so realistic, doesn't it? Daily challenges and decisions to make. Unique story. Good old Cruyff, man. What a legend. Absolute legend. Oh, okay. So we've got improved manager models. You can you can pick current and, and ex-managers. That is fantastic. High quality cutscenes, press conferences, new storylines will unlock throughout the season. This looks unbelievable, man. More cutscenes, negotiate transfers. Negotiations in progress, full transfer, you've got market values. That's, that's cool. Griezmann's there. Pre-season. Oh, man. Brilliant. Got to say, though, the music is questionable. So pre-season is a big part of football. And I don't know why games haven't really made a big deal of it in the past. Clearly, Master League are taking it a bit more seriously. So we're actually gaining followers there. Derby matches. There's a bit of feistiness there, as you would expect. Roberto Carlos. Oh, man. That is so cool. Feel the tension within the club. Ooh, speeches in the locker rooms on match days. Okay. <laughs> Love the celebrations, man. There's Lukaku in his new kit, of course. Frankie de Jong there. Oh, look at that. Celebrations in the, the changing room. Messi's there. That beard looked glorious, as always. Every game matters. Of course. I'm just excited to create more of a story. And that's that seems to be what they're, they're doing here. Oh, what a touch. Beautiful. New season, new Master League. There's just a lot of cut scenes, a lot of... Things that seem to matter. Oh my god, a selfie being taken there. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. It really does. Pre-order now. I'll be getting it on Steam. And I'll be using mods to get uh, all of the licensing. So let's take a look through some of the images here. So the press conference room there. I'm sure, obviously, the... Um, the background will change here regarding what club it is and stuff like that. But the room will always look the same. Tell you what, though. These images are very, very cool. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could actually kind of walk around and you're actually in the room and you, you know, press E to sit down, press F to pay respects, you know? It'd be really cool. I don't think it would ever happen, but you can see some sort of training background here as well. That would be another great thing I'd love to do. Be, actu be actually on the training pitch as the manager and, and watching the players train and then instructing them to do certain things. A real proper manager simulation would be 
absolutely fantastic. And the new camp, as always, looking fantastic. Got some changing room graphics there. Um, so this, this was interesting. Daily challenges and decisions to make. I'm sure they don't mean actual challenges like, you know, score three goals in this game. But I think they mean there's going to be things that pop up that are going to be challenging for you. You know, maybe certain players request to leave or, you know, they're just not happy and they want you to give them a game. And just things that will give you a bit of a bit of a different feeling every day. Every day of Master League is going to be different, I guess. What else did we have here? What lies ahead is your very own unique story. Lead your club, make your name. So let's go to the manager customization. I've got to say, I didn't play too much of the, the PES last year. And I can't actually remember too much. I think, if I remember correctly, the, the making your manager was really basic. You could add hair and glasses and things like that. But this is much better. This is definitely much better. But the thing that really interested me was this. Being able to pick who you want to be. You can be official people. Man, I'm definitely doing a Barcelona save with Cruyff at some point. That will be incredible. So that's really exciting. Um, I think I saw Hullet there as well. So we've got uh, a couple more managers. So experience numerous events within your club with a variety of high quality cutscenes. It's very, very cool. It really is. I love the look of all this. The question is, as I mentioned with the new systems in FIFA 20 with, you know, player morale and talking to them and uh, pre-season, no, not pre-season, uh, pre-match press conferences, things like that. Will they get tedious and boring? I don't know, but it says here new cutscenes and storylines will unlock. It's right behind me there. You can't see it, but new cutscenes and storylines will unlock throughout the season according to your decisions and performance. So you're not always going to get the same stuff. You're going to have to do a certain... I think you're going to have to be successful in some ways to unlock these things. And then you, if you're failing at these things, you won't get these things. It's kind of like you're unlocking a path and you follow that based off your success. And that's really cool. That means we will be getting different Master Leagues every time we play, you know? It's not going to be the same stuff. So this is the... Um, negotiation looks very similar to what I remember, but they've got the market value, annual salary. Jesus, he wanted a lot there, didn't he? Who are they talking to? I think this was, I think it's Griezmann, isn't it? Let's see what they showed after that. Yeah, so it was signing Griezmann. Player transfers, transfer fees and salaries are also in close alignment with reality. So if you want a big player, he's going to cost a lot of money. I just love this, though. I love this. Just seeing your team, your players, and yourself. If you've made your manager, I'm sure it'll be there. And um, just walking to the training ground. So, utilize the pre-season competition to integrate your promising young players into your squad. So, of course, FIFA's had that for a while. And I don't want to keep comparing it to FIFA, but let's be honest, we all are. We're all comparing it to career mode in FIFA. Pre-season tournaments were added a few years ago, but they're so basic. So, so basic. And it feels like maybe Master League are adding their own pre-season and it's going to be a lot more detailed because they then said, if they perform well, you'll gain recognition from the fans, impacting the club following and growing the team's reputation. I mean, that's, that's amazing. So you're saying, let's say I'm Arsenal and I'm playing Reese Nelson in my pre-season tournament and he does well. That's going to gain me followers and, and the fans are going to be happy with that, seeing the young players come through. Brilliant. Derby matches, clearly those are going to be focused as well. It's going to be crazy. The tension. Let's see what else there was. Feel the tension within the club as the Derby match draws near. So you're going to get cutscenes based off the game that's approaching. It's not just a normal cutscene like, you know, good luck out there, boys. We can win this. It's it's going to be different each time you play. Very, very cool indeed. The kits look great, by the way. I mean, I, I know it's, it's all down to gameplay. If we're all being honest, it's down to gameplay, whether or not you actually enjoy playing the game. If you haven't played the, uh, the demo yet, it's available on all consoles and, and on PC as well on Steam. The, the gameplay is very addictive. It's very enjoyable this year. I, I really do feel like they've nailed it. It's, it's going to be really interesting to see if the full game 
plays in a similar way. I know they had a couple of issues with the referees and maybe a couple of uh, animations needed smoothing out, but quite honestly, I really enjoyed playing the demo. And that's why I'm really excited to play Master League as well, because the demo gameplay is offline. That's what we're going to experience, although it'll be even better, of course. And with a Master League remastered edition, it's going to be just full of detail and stories, and it's just going to be great fun. The real question for me now is, who the hell do I play as? Do I... Do I... I was thinking of going with Juventus, because, of course, they've got the rights to Juventus, and that's kind of cool, and create a story, finding the next Ronaldo maybe, you know, there, there's a plen there's plenty of things you could do though, I could do uh, a smaller team in, in the Serie A, because that's fully licensed, I definitely want to go into the Serie A, maybe I could do Brescia, is that how you even say the name, you know, they just signed Balotelli, they've got Tonali, maybe I could do that, anyway, it's too early to tell, all I can say guys is there will be a Pez Master League series coming to the channel very, very shortly. What will be my legacy? I will have to decide nearer the time. But honestly, Konami, Pez, congrats on an amazing trailer. This is going to be hyping up your players a lot. It looks fantastic. Master League is, I think, the holy grail of Pez. If you really want to grow it, there's a lot of people that are fed up with career mode on FIFA, even this year with the the additions they've made. It's nothing game-breaking or game-changing, I should say, except from the dynamic potentials. There's still a lot of people that are not happy. This this is good. This is very good. Imagine if FIFA came out with some of this stuff. It would have been... Oh, my God. It would have been crazy. They've put a lot of effort into this, and you can tell. And I'm very excited to play. So thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next video soon.